The fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up for. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Big punch land. Ooh. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Joy gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Let's get more action with the strike. Misses again with a right punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, big left hook there. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Doubling up on the jab. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice punch there. Oh, big left hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, straight right. Right hand Back and forth we go! Joy gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Oh man, these strikes are really starting to pile up. He's not taking a breather up against the fence. He's trying to end this fight. He is working so hard in this position. It's really exciting to watch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice loop of punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Nice hook, Lance. That one landed clean. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know you did too much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Andy. Horn sounds 
for the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Let's go. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there, and they separate. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. Double leg. Wow. Actually got the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. So once again, making good use of the reach advantage as he lands another jab. And they separate. Real quick leg kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good stick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. One-two punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. That's a big strike right there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab. Right hand hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Oh, man. As he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio. The ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. He lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Short. Uh, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. 
Yeah, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nice. Twenty seconds to go round two. Nice kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single polo tie. Two rounds in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He missed with that jab attempt there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick. Now a kick to the body. Trying to establish that trap once again. Single collar tie now. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and combination. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, nice punch there by Choi. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, single collar tie here. Lance to the body there. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are being Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. Nah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds. Oh! He got him. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. What a tricky head kick. Punch over the top. Pretty significant well left side oh nice job to land the straight punch there must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage dc i know you can't necessarily relate
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Try to establish that jab. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Well, he the high crunch. He's taking for a run. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. Wow! Oh, he might be out. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Got the single collar tie. Great timing on that blue All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Closed guard here, he's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Closed guard. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Big punch oh. the What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Both guys landing big shots. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Joy's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? It looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Oh, nice. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, worked hard to get him. Oh! fun to watch this dude work on the mat. He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh! All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be in a Right under the elbow, the body can play. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, 
landed on his back again. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love takedowns. Come on, do something different. Press punch. <laughs> do one of the special moves. I mean, Jesus, takedown after takedown. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Sharp. Nice straight punch. All right, single collar tie now. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. How about that chin? Can't take many of those, you better check. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Well, missed on that one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, that left hand is on point. Unable to connect with the right. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Good jab. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Nice punch lands over the top. Close guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on his face. He's done, he's done. Yeah, man, crowd.